Hello, I'm Dream Doc. Christmas. Nice. Candles. Lights. La la, I am moving my hand and it is lagging, lagging, lagging. Oh, hello there. Fun, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this away. Thank you. It's way low. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, hello there. This is Dream Duck for University Star League and, um, yeah. Oh, hello there. This is Dream Duck for University Star League Christmas Calendar. We've decided that we, since we enjoy gaming so much, but most of all we enjoy you. I shouldn't say enjoy. That's very strange. I'm going to say something else. Okay? Yeah. Nice. Let's do this. Uh. Oh, hello there. I'm Dream Duck. Uh, Oh, hi. Dream Duck here, just practicing the magic of Christmas. Uh, what about what I sh what about? Um, with that, I'm going to place one match on the floor. As, 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 as. It was a trick. I'm sorry. I do have two cards. I I should tell you that it's mean to trick people during Christmas times. So with that, we're going to throw ourselves right. Ass. 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 <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Dream Duck, the Lord of Fire. But I'm also... Ass. I'm also ass. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. I am Dream Duck, the Lord of Fire. Oh, hello. Dream Duck here. You caught me in the library. In here, I like to devour literary classics such as, um, fuck. Chiwa. My name is Dream Duck. <laughs> okay. Santa Lucia. Hi, I'm Dream Duck, and I'll be talking while they are singing. I know this is going to work. Bro, thank I'm Dream Duck. Hi. I'm Dream Duck. I'm the University Star League Christmas calendar day 15. The intro is going to be in contemporary dance. I think I can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm Julio. Of the University Star League Christmas calendar. And I like the days of my calendar like I like my women. 17 going for 18. I now light the candle. Not the first, not the second, but the third. For the amount of women I will be thinking of tonight while watching Starcraft. Hi, hi, Madame. Hi, hi. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. I am the, the burger and uh, I. <laughs> I've just moved into this country. I'm in. I'm gonna. I'm gonna the moon. I'm gonna the moon. I'm gonna go to 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 the moon. I'm a man. Hey, allihopa. Fy fan vad trevligt. Gud vad nice. Gud vad kul. Gud vad roligt. Inte så troligt. 
Alltså problemet är att de har ju börjat spåra så jävla mycket de här nu att jag inte riktigt vet vad fan jag ska fylla på med. Det ska ju vara... Nej! Don't worry, I got this. Hi, I'm Dream Duck for the University Starling Christmas Calendar Day. What the fuck? <laughs> day, 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 teen, teen. Is recording? Mm. <laughs> Today I have the greatest of all the gifts that exists. I'm gonna present. Hey. <laughs> okay. Mm. Hello, everybody. I'm Medstuck. No, I can't just say this. I just sing it. Welcome to the University Star League. Today is December twenty third. Today it's my turn to light the candle. I'm so excited, but I don't know how. <laughs> I don't. We're gonna light it, but how? Why did you give this to me? <laughs> You give it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. <laughs> But most of all, I care. <laughs> <laughs> Today is December 23rd, and it's my turn to present the University StarCraft thing. Fuck it. It's University Star, Star League, League Christmas, Christmas calendar. calendar. <laughs> This is Dream Duck for the University Starling Christmas Calendar Day 22, and I don't know where the fuck my matches are. Hi, this is Mads Duck for University Starling Christmas Calendar Day 20. I am filming Soup Duck, filming Lucky Duck, filming Dream Duck. <laughs> Hi, this is Mads Duck for University Starling Christmas Calendar Day 20. I am filming Soup Duck, filming Lucky Duck. Filming Dream Duck for University Star League Day 19. Oh, hi. Seems like go ahead. Yeah. Dean, go ahead. Oh, oh, hi. Uh, I'm Soup Duck, and I'm filming Lucky Duck, filming Dream Duck for the University Star League Christmas calendar, Day 19. Go ahead. Oh hi, I'm Lucky Duck, I'm filming Dream Duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi, this is Medstock for University Star League Christmas Calendar Day 20. I am filming Soup Duck, filming Lucky Duck, filming Dream Duck for University Star Fl 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 Oh hi, this is Medstock for Nej, Yeah, yeah. Ho 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 ho! This is Dream Duck, and this is the Merry Soup Duck. Yes, the Merry Duck, the merriest of them all. Um, and this is the last day of the University Starlight Christmas calendar, and. We've been sitting here for 24 days. Yep, 24 days. Casting we haven't non-stop. Yeah, we haven't moved out of this spot 24 days. Uh, uh, you know, each of these epi episodes they take 24 hours to make. You yeah, know, we yeah. recast the game about 28, uh, 29 times, and yeah, the analyze intro. Analyze everything frame by frame. Yep, yep. To see that you know we didn't mess up in any frame. And I uh, usually try to actually play through the games. Yeah. Following the build orders. Of exactly. Of 
Nice. And we do that, and you know, since yeah, we'll, we're we're not as well versed as two masters players meeting each other, for example. Oh, so, so we have to practice so yeah. that we can actually. This is actually not Jaren Passion and Java playing. It's no, uh, we perfect. Duck and Soup Duck. We have redone the entire builds of yeah. the entire game. Exactly. Just to know what's going on. Just to know uh, to be able to analyze it. Yeah. And then we dumb it down and sound like we don't know anything about it, yeah. and we miss a lot of things on purpose. Our goal, our our, uh, I mean, our main goal is for this to sound like yep. as if we're casting it the first time we're watching the game. Yep. And actually, we're not even casting it right now. Uh, this The sound you're hearing is reproduced on tin cans. Uh, we yeah. just put up a whole... Uh, we found every possible usable frequency and um, and, and possible sound and we then needed. we built robots to yes. play on these tin cans. Exactly. Controlled. Controlled robots reproduced. Should we talk about the game, possibly? Oh, there's a StarCraft game. There's a StarCraft game. Yeah, wow. we're so up in the in the in yeah. the Christmas and thinking you know of stuff. No? It's Christmas today. Ah! That's Which epic. We, we're not gonna talk about that. No. We're gonna talk about StarCraft and yes. nothing else. Yes, let's so do that. So who are these two players? Up here in the top right corner, uh, for the university Starly Christmas calendar, uh, we have one of our uh, two players in the only group which actually has two Masters players in it, right? Yeah, that's yes. right. And that is Yahweh. Yahweh. He played at uh, the show event at Meta. Yes. And, and he defeated uh, Jan, Jan Sturm with 3-1, I think. Yeah, I mean, it was, I think it was, was it 3-1 or 2-3? Two, I don't three one three one a lot yeah. of bane links but with a lot oh most man. of those bane link pushes bane link attacks did not work no but uh, uh, unfortunately uh, or fortunately was, uh, depending very on. <laughs> very scared of the bane links he yeah had, uh, oh. after the game I <laughs> he was shaking <laughs> when he was <laughs> force feeling those bane links but he did a really good job and it was an epic hold actually down here in the lower left corner we have Yoran Passion Yoran Passion and uh, he's uh, he's a Masters player. Yeah, and the former yeah. Prime Minister of Sweden, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, or back, back in the 90s. Yes, back in the 90s he was uh, the Prime Minister of Sweden. Um, I'm, to be fair and square, <laughs> this is not the exactly the same person, but it's the same name, so we're going to say yeah. that it's the yeah. same person. I yeah. mean, there's um, and there's no evidence contradicting it right as of right no, now no. in he did, this he game. He did, though, show up at our first yeah, show he, event yeah, in, uh, yeah. in Shista, and exactly. he did not really look like the Prime Minister. No. Uh, so I, d I, th I don't think they're even related, actually. Oh, that's 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 too sad. I, it would have been a lot of fun to have our uh, previous prime minister. The question is, did he study in Stockholm? Uh, yeah. No, I don't think he studied at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> he went uh, directly into politics. Yes, in which is uh, which way it works. Mm. Which is where the way it works usually. Yeah. And anyway. <laughs> anyway, and Joran Passion played it at, at our first uh, show event, yeah, yeah. and he uh, challenged uh, Prop Dash, and went pretty far in that game. It was, uh, yeah. you know, it was it was possible for him to take it, but in the end, Prop Dash prevailed, and Joran Passion did not take the game and did not win the mouse mat and the no. the Barcraft, uh, the Barcraft uh, was it gift card? Yeah. Yeah, basically yeah. for two people. Uh, but um, let's see if he can actually smash a game against Yahweh. It's not impossible at all. Your person might have improved, and he might be better in uh, TVP uh, than he wa is uh, is in TV uh, TVT. Yeah. I don't know. No. And you know, doesn't matter. Uh, each game is uh, is is unique in its own yeah. sense. And long, right now, long story short, both of these players are really good. Yes, they're really good. That's what I wanted <laughs> to get to. That's what we wanted to get to. The Tin cans and the robots yeah, and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. All right, so a scout here by Yoram Passion, and uh, what is Yoram Passion seen? He's seen uh, quite a lot here, actually. Yeah. Well, <laughs> quite a lot, meaning everything. And we have three gates three, three coming gates down. Expand. Yeah. When he finally got rid of that, oh, ooh, was that a misclick? When he no, he wanted just to put the robot in a different place. When he finally got rid of that uh, worker, he put down his robot. He had a Twilight Council coming as well. He didn't put down that down now so I'm not sure if he no. changed his mind but uh, just the robot uh, right now yeah with that I would have guessed uh, blink stalker uh, observer but I'm not sure anymore but because now we have a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of sentries warping in here and uh, Joran Passion's moving out with a lot of marines so they're gonna be able to take that sellout out very easily and he's moving back it's the usual move at this time just going out grabbing the watchtower with yeah. one marine which should be closer to the tower right <laughs> a uh, bit closer. A yeah. little bit closer, but whatever. And then moving back with these Marines. Yeah. And as well as the Protoss player, you don't know if that's going to be 
real if he's actually going to try to pressure with those. Uh, he did have a quite a lot of marines. Behind that, he hasn't taken his gases here yet, oh. but he's taken them both here, and he's got three. Um, yeah, he had three barracks. Standard, three barracks. Uh, standard bio build from exactly. uh, Johan Passion. Uh, yeah, with uh, the stim and the combat the, sheets. The, um, the techs, tech choices for uh, the marines and yep. uh, adding on engineering base. Uh, I suppose there's a factory building a reactor somewhere for the starport. Um. Where, not where did his factory go? Oh, it's it's, got, it's no, 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 it's it's <laughs> the, the factory is like, well, screw this. Yeah. I'm off, you guys. <laughs> My people need me. Yeah. Um, so he's going off to the factory planet. I don't know. And there it is. Uh, the build landing his armory, of though, before the factory is taken out by those stalkers. Yes, he really should. Uh, that is true. And the factory is most definitely going to be taken out uh, here. Uh, with those sentries coming in as well, yeah. the factory is not going to live for very long. And the question is, will he put that down before the factory goes down? I'm not even sure. Um, your own passion at the behind this is building a command center, a third one in here. Uh, he's got his uh, upgrades coming along, plus one, plus one, uh, coming for his yep. bio. And he started his medivac production. So, medivac bio is coming up. First medivacs are out, still yep. is done in uh, just a few seconds. So this could be a good time to push. And exactly. That's exactly what he's doing. There it is. And the question is, he's going to wait for at least plus one attack to finish before he actually attacks or is he going to put down pr on pressure with this and it's actually scouted by the observer i'm thinking that yeah. you is good enough to have noticed that um, he does have a whole bunch of sentries here so he can force field uh pretty well actually delaying the push from these marines and what does he have more to actually hold this with oh he's got his charge coming and his plus one coming and they're possibly going to finish before this with the force uh, attack fields, comes yeah, yeah should but be able to prolong uh, should be able to prolong it with the force fields and he'll have to do that because he doesn't have a large army uh -huh. and he doesn't have the zealots yet for these that charge actually to take effect and there come the force fields and the fourth one uh, the fourth field as <laughs> I like to call it um, and actually oh yeah. <laughs> he placed uh, stalkers on the high ground to take out that damaged medivac and here comes the second round of force fields and it traps off a bunch of these and those salads with uh, with charge uh, managed to do a little damage before they take it out but now there's a whole bunch of marines coming in here they're going to whoa do a lot of damage and he just tries to do as lot of damage as much damage as possible before taking out and he managed and managed to actually snipe a few um, how many how many sentries did he manage to snipe? Three, something like that. Yeah. So you got a bunch of those off, and of course you'll want to keep them as many sentries as possible until you have the late game army yeah. composition, yeah. which is. Uh, but it felt pretty even actually. I don't yeah, know. It did. In the resources lost uh, a bit more for Terran, but uh, I mean not a huge difference. Yeah, actually, and you know, um, it's it's quite a, quite a small difference in that way. Uh, regard and so units killed is a little upper for. Actually, I'm going to say this: Yovan, your person. Red versus blue. It's red versus blue. Actually, <laughs> it's in our rule book. This we could, we could, we could actually deem this game <laughs> il <laughs> illegal. I, 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 re I think though that this, these are very nice Christmas colors. It's yeah, kind of like a Christmas tree decoration. That is actually so true. That's so very that's fitting. the only reason. That's the only reason they we're accepting. They played this not for the tournament in, no. a, in the, the first. Uh, priority, but actually for the Christmas calendar, yeah. then I think it's uh, actually it's okay. It's yeah. okay yeah. in that case. Okay, we still like you, but we're still <laughs> we're a little angry, but we're s we're not angry. We're just disappointed. Y just That's disappointed. The way. Yeah, and if you don't know why we're angry, it's no reason asking. <laughs> both and both players moving into uh, three bases. Yep, uh, and uh, another strong push by German Passion coming, coming out in. here with some new medivacs. The, he lost most of the. All of the old ones, I think. Yeah, and uh, this is going to be tough. Uh, this is a very nice timing for the push because this is right before the Colossus are come out. Yeah. And uh, Storm just did finish, I think, didn't it? Um, Storm is done, was it, are no... What did he even... I don't know if I saw that. Was it Blink? It was possibly Blink. Anyway, um, the Thurman Lance is nowhere near, uh, near finish. And, and he's got an Archon in the back here, but the point is there's so many Marines and yeah. so many Medivacs, so he does to has to take out a large portion of this bio army if he wants to have the chance to actually be able to hold this. There's just not enough splash damage from no. uh, from the Ave here, and uh, that engagement went a lot worse than the, the previous one. Exactly, uh, and which so which means um, that <laughs> your passion can just power through and uh, take out yeah. take out anything. Uh, yeah, exactly. Way ahead, those units survive. 
uh, the first attack, and uh, it's hard for Yava to max you up. Yep, yep, and he's trying to do push. as much damage as possible with that Colossus before it goes down. And the problem with this push is that, well, there's the GG right there's, there. It's the GG. And that was a very decisive push from uh, Yoram Passion, and he yeah. hit the per hit the timing perfectly right before he had the first Colossus. Colossus would have done, which would have done incredible difference in that battle. Yes. And uh, well, it's that's the problem with these push pushes, since you have so many Medivaxes terror and you can just you know stim and heal up again and stim and heal up. So as a Protoss player or a Zerg player, or well for that matter, another Terran player as well, you have to take up a large portion of that army because yeah. otherwise yeah. it'll come back in full strength, <laughs> which is bad for you. Very well timed out by your um, passion. Yep, yep. He knew exactly when to attack. Um, well, yeah, the league of a good Masters player. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Or the the leech of a the oh, never mind. At <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> I don't <laughs> even care about talking. You know, I don't. No, no. It's should just we move on to kind of open presents and oh, I think uh, we should sing do that. Christmas songs and yeah, uh, that sounds nice. I'm gonna do that. So just to relax from StarCraft for for a while, a few for days. For a while, maybe. a few days, maybe at least. Yeah. And the group stage number two starts. It starts in January. On the fifth of January, the, yep. the second week of January, yep. uh, our second group stage begins with the top 32 players of the first uh, round. Yep, exactly. And those and will uh, be narrowed down to 16 players who will then participate in the final event at Cage in February. Yep. So that group stage will be really intense with the best players moving on. Um, as you ha might have noticed yep, <laughs> in yep. this uh, Christmas calendar, uh, there have been quite a lot of games between master uh, diamond players and maybe silver, silver gold, a few bronze players, but yep. a lot of uneven matchups. But mm. those are gone now. Those are gone Mostly now. master and yeah. diamond players. Exactly. And a few platinum uh, moving well. on into the second group stage. So those games will be. A really lot cooler, a lot cooler. And actually, for the the second round of University Star League tournament, when we get to, we're going to take this out to a national uh, version in yeah. next in the next round. And for that one, we have uh, when we have the uh, the possibility to bring in uh, more players, we're hopefully going to be able to put that uh, through uh, each uh, separate leagues for each uh, each. Uh, each each league, separate divisions <laughs> for each league, whatever. Um, so bronze players get to beat other bronze players and uh, so forth for the first ones. Yeah. So you can fight it out. Yes. Bronze versus bronze. Yeah. For a while. For and a while. Then the best players in those competitions, of get course, will, yeah. will uh, move into the regular tournament. And yep, yep. And, uh, exactly. But that's going to be epic. Anyway, let's not talk too much. Let's just say, well... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, and thanks for watching the whole calendar, because if you're here, you've obviously seen every episode of so course. far. Twice. Twice, at least. And if you are, um, here's, 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 here's just a, a, a... Here's the Easter egg. I like to put in the Easter eggs. If anyone's watching here, the code name is Strawberry. Please comment on YouTube <laughs> video <laughs> with the words strawberry, with the word strawberry. And don't mind that it's Christmas, not Easter. No. It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. It's not. That's This is a Christmas egg. There's nothing. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> it's a Christmas egg. So write strawberry. This, that's just, it's just fun. I don't know why <laughs> I, I, I think that's fun, but I think it's fun. Um. Anyway, uh, let's just, well, we, we, we don't even want to <laughs> stop talking because this is the last game yeah, we're casting for a long time. Yeah, it feels a bit sad to actually turn off the <sighs> recording here. Yeah, um, but I think we should do it, man. Yeah, we we got to let go. We should do it. We gotta let's go. hold hands <laughs> and <laughs> We're actually holding hands. That was very, and, and that was very nice. Turn okay, off the recording. Okay. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone.